Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ellisville, home of the South Jones Braves. And the Warriors are going to kick this thing off to get this first round of playoff action started. And uh, Ronnie Gonzalez is getting them ready to go. We've got to give a shout out to our super fan of the week this week, Lester Mitchell. And there's Ronnie's going to kick one deep. It's going to be caught down there inside the 20. And uh, Warriors are getting down there and get a hand on him off the bat and take him down hard right there inside the 30. And that is a big tackle by number 17, and Maureen Leverett. So the high school pregame the, show. Booty Motor Company and Advantage One looks Insurance. Looks like the uh, Braves will be putting it in play just short of the uh, 30 down there. Got it over. 29, big guy. All righty. 29 yard line for the Braves. First and 10 for them as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Our captains for tonight are 15, Steve Morgan, 23, Amore Howard, 82, Jaden Pitts, and number 84, Cortez McDonald. And again, Lester Mitchell, our super fan of the week. Three man front for the War Eagles. And here goes a quick pass out there that's going to be caught for a short gain and tackled by, let's see. Tackle for a loss. Is that number 19 on the stop? That would be Caden Hundley. Tackle him, uh, gained about three or four, three yards on that first Well, down. I guess he did. Okay, I'm looking at the wrong line. No, <laughs> never mind. Don't pay me any attention. You just, I'm you, just glad I didn't have to pay to get in. <laughs> How were those peanuts? They were good. All right. They're going to still be good. All right. Second down, and we'll say eight. They're going to be a handoff up the middle and uh, find some running room. Going to crash out close to a first down, but I don't know. Let's see where they spot him. 11-12 to go in the first quarter of the first round playoff action. Wayne County over here at the home of the Braves. Third down and short for the Braves. Third and one. Braves come to the line of scrimmage. Let's see if they can convert on their first opportunity here on a third and short tonight. Let's see if War Eagles can man up and stop them short. Get a little movement on that line of scrimmage. Here comes the snap. There's going to be the handoff, and uh, they're going to string him out, Kenny, and get him behind the line of scrimmage. So it's going to be third down. It's going to be fourth down in maybe, what, a yard or two? Yeah, depending on where he gets the spot. I thought we corralled him they kind close of, to the 35, but they're going to. They keep him up there close. It's going to be. Uh, on the 37. They just got a yard. Oh, 38. Fourth down and uh, what is it? half a yard to go. Yeah, it's between the 37 and the 38. All right. All right, got to stay there. Let's see. They're sending the punting team out, I guess, so they're not going to try to get too tricky. Let's see if the War Eagles can not jump off sides here. That would be – wouldn't be devastating, but it wouldn't be good. There's the snap. There's the punt. It's long and low, and it's going to hit the ground and take a South Jones – bounce inside the 20 and I believe it's somewhere around the 16 or 17 Kenny yes uh, just across the 15 I think we're, we're at a low angle here so I'm going I'm going to wait till they get through making sure the ball's good and wet yeah. after we dried it off and threw it in the official <laughs> has dropped it four times yeah. spun it three times <laughs> there go the war guys it's on the 16 uh, On the 16, first and 10 for Wayne County. I can't hardly see the clock. It's behind the net, but anyway, it's immaterial at this point because we're just early in the first quarter. First possession of Wayne County on the night, having to put uh, the Braves in a three and out situation. There's going to be a handoff, and uh, Wayne County's going to turn it upfield and make us a move. And let's see who is that wild man running. Is that uh, be your number Morgan? Five. Number is 15, Morgan? yeah. Morgan okay. on the carry. He was so fast, all I had time to see was the number five. <laughs> Blakely, man, he had a great. He had a Steve had a great week last week. He can really go, man. And uh, now you got Blakely's checked in there. Morgan's out. Omar Boykin Jr. is in there in the backfield. And here come the War Eagles up with a first ten, another first and ten. They're out across the thirty with a fresh set of downs. Nice way to open the game, there, Kenny. Sure is. There's going to be another handoff. There's Blakeney, and he's going to look for somewhere to go. Kenny, he's going to have a nice gain on first down. He's going to get probably eight on that carry yeah, right up the middle. He'll get out to around the 38 or 39, depending on where they give him a spot. 
Second down, and we'll call that, what, two? Just, yeah, just shy of the 39. All right, Tyrese Estes checks out. Righty. That's a big guy they got spread out this way. And here comes a handout around this side. And Blakely's trying to get on the corner, turns up field. Man, they knock him down short of the uh short of the uh yard line to make on I guess he got back to the line of scrimmage. So it's gonna bring up third. Yeah, he did. He got a little bit. It's gonna be third and short, Kenny. Yeah, we gotta make the forty one. They got the ball on the forty. All righty, with eleven oh eight and counting in the first quarter. Wayne County was a Put three and out on the Braves, and they've gotten the ball, and they've marched out here to close to their to their own 40 with about a yard to go for the first down. Bunched in there tight. There's going to be the quarterback sneak, and he's going to get a good push, Kenny, and I believe that's going to be a first down for the War Eagles. It will. Bowles got a, needed a yard, and he got a couple of three. First down, War Eagles. It's on the 42, Marshall. In this field, I'll tell you what, that field is wet. And it is slick, and it's been overseeded. A little ryegrass coming up out there. All righty, first and ten for the War Eagles. There's a handoff to Blake, and he's going to try to find somewhere to go. He turns up. Kenny got another nice game. Going to be got to a the face 50. Mask. They did have a face mask. I don't see a flag. Yeah, they do. There's a – no, no flag that I nope. see. I'm the only one that saw it. I saw it. Oh, did you? Yes, sir. Well, that makes two of it us. It was pretty obvious if I see it. So, it's going to bring up second about one. Warriors are back to the line of scrimmage. They're clicking off at a pretty good pace right now. Nose up midfield, trying to get into brave territory for a first down. Everybody's punched up in there tight. Back to throw. Going to throw one out there. And Estes is going to make the catch, catch for a first down. Tyrese Estes on the catch for a War Eagle first down. Yeah, just a quick out. I tell you, as precarious as the footing is here tonight, uh, it's going to be it's going to be tough on defenders. It's going to be tough on backs trying to plant a foot and make a move, yeah. too. First and 10 for the War Eagles. They're on the plus side down here at the 46. Nosed up to the 46 of the host Braves down there tonight. So here come the Warriors with a fresh set of downs. OBJ's in the backfield. And there's an offsides right there on the Braves, but they didn't throw a flag. His helmet came all the way over. Well, the, the nose guard's lined up offside. And there's a... And that, that nose guard caused a problem right there. And his head was across the line of scrimmage. We're sitting right there yeah, looking I, at it. His head was blocking my view of the center's head gear. Yeah. That's a short gain, if any, for OBJ. Bay Bay uh, checks in. Big Bay Bay Miller. Yeah, he uh, Omar never had a chance to really get his get his wheels turning. Ran into some opposition just as he got the football. All right, here we go. Morgan's in motion. Morgan's going to get the handoff. He's going to turn it up. Phil can even make folks miss. He's still plowing and running hard down close He's to first have, down. He'll he have got that it. first down, he I sure believe. Does. He's at the 35. And well, Pencil, yeah, the first down. Good shot, K Dog. All right. Well, they backed him up a yard, but he still got the first down. Fresh set of downs for the War Eagles. We're at uh, 5.48 to go in the first quarter. The Braves were three and out, and Wayne County's working on a pretty good drive right now with a first and 10 at the 36 of the Braves. Bowles in the center, and there's a stoppage of play. What we got, Kenny? Penalty against us, I guess, illegal motion. Okay, well, that's the first... Misstep we've taken tonight. So I don't know why they're not calling the uh, center the nose go. Outside. Yeah, the nose guard is lining up offside. He's in the neutral zone. First and fifteen to go for Wayne County. They're back out across the forty. Five thirty-two and to go in the first quarter. Up to the line of scrimmage come the Warriors. This, this is uh, spread out wide to the right over there. All him and one guy on him all alone out there. There's going to be a handoff to Bay Bay. Bay Bay's going to rumble, son, and here he goes. He's dragging folks down inside the 20. First down, Wayne County at about the 16. Oh, Bay Bay getting it done. Came Man, on. he did. I tell you what, he looked like a bull ox Freight pulling train, a car. Baby. 
Yes, sir. First and ten, Wayne County. They're going to put it on the head. Oh, man, what in the world? I, I don't, <laughs> don't know. Get it, he don't. was He was sitting on top of the, <laughs> the 16 and the 17. Uh, that's okay. It's a first down. First and ten, Wayne County. They're down there, what, at the 17-yard line? Or is it the 18? It's 18. Okay. That inside, was a 23-yard run. Inside five minutes to go in the first quarter. Handed to Bebe again, and they hit him behind the line of scrimmage, but uh, he <laughs> he managed to move him. I think he he got a I thought he bit. got a yard. Well, they gave him a little bit, but not he much. Didn't give him much at all. All righty. What's here? Orly and pretty for about a half a yard. To the line of scrimmage. Marquise Leverett checking in. All right. Denson, nope, there we go. I see they got after the quarterback and the Bowles was able to sling one downfield. Did they throw a flag on him, Kenny? There was a receiver down there. I'm no, not sure. No flag. Sure, I don't see one. Third down. Well, he was out of the tackle box yeah, okay. for such a thing. Yeah. Four minutes to go in the first. Score this first quarter. Wayne County has had the ball so far, all but three offensive plays of this quarter. And they're now looking at a third and ten. Estes to the right. Denson's the H back on the left side. Hamilton's to the right as well. And Morgan's in the backfield with Bowles. Looking to throw someone out there to Morgan. Let him get on the corner. If you outrun him, Kenny breaks through. There he goes. Turns up field. Good he makes score. Touchdown, Wayne County on the little swing pass out there to Steve Morgan from Jacob Bowles. Warrior goes on the board with 3.48 to go in the first quarter. He had a guy trying to catch him, but uh, when Steve no. lit the afterburner, it was all over. <laughs> it was all over. So the Warrior goes, man, that was pretty impressive, Kenny. Well, a good drive. Uh, I'll give you some numbers here in a minute. All right. Gonzalez is coming out to try the point after touchdown. Bowles to hold, Scarber to snap, Gonzalez to kick, snap, hold, kick, and look at there, money in the bank right there. So with 3.48 to go in the first quarter, Wayne County 7, South Jones 0. Here's a 30-second break to WABO. We'll be back after this one commercial break. Everybody, Wayne County up 7 to nothing. Kenny, what about that drive? 12 plays, 84 yards. Woo! They took about six minutes or better off the Man. Clock. The War Eagles held and put the Braves three and out and been on a, that big long drive to put seven on the board. It's the first round of the playoffs. Wayne County's up seven to nothing over the homestanding Braves. Gonzalez is going to kick one. It's going to be caught at the 20. Wayne County's getting down there and going to get after him and get a hand on him. And he breaks tackles. He's getting around the right side. Kenny Gonzalez may be the man to catch, but they get him before he gets to run. So he's going to be out across the 40. For the nice a penalty flag. Going to be a block in the back, I think. Somebody's shoe came off. See that or hold. I, it looked to me like a block in the back. Well, we shall see. They're mulling it over and trying to decide. I see the flag down there at about the 39. They're picking it up now, waving it off, Kenny. Now, now, now. Why not? I'll be first and 10 for the Braves at their own 40-yard line, trailing seven to nothing. So Ward will see if he can get them another three and out. Braves are set at the line of scrimmage, moving some folks around. Two coming out wide of the right. And uh, I guess we found the answer to the question whether their quarterback was going to play or not. I guess that's that's the guy. All righty. Officials waiting to get it in play. Having some conversations with Coach Hankins over here. Been in the officials' ear a little bit. Something he didn't like. But making his case, Kenny, making his case for the next time. All righty, here come the Braves. 
There's going to be a handoff up the middle and a pretty nice gain right there. Kenny running hard and dragging some War Eagles for him. Make cross midfield and get a first down. Braves are pretty excited about that. That's their best offensive play of the night. Yeah, they are. They run power play. First and ten from looks like they're at midfield. First down for the Braves. It's hard to see that clock. It's three. It's three fourteen and counting. Two right for the Braves. Single back. They're going to be a handoff right up the middle, and they're going to stick him at the line of scrimmage, Kenny. And he's going to uh, probably get to the line of scrimmage, but that's going to be about it. Amore Howard, one of our senior captains, is getting up off at the bottom of that pile. He did get about a half a yard. Well, yeah, he got a half a yard. Yeah public address guy over there said otherwise, but you and I got it spotted. Inside three minutes in the first quarter, seven to nothing, Warga lead. Second and ten, we're going to call it. It might as well be ten for the Braves. Two guys in the backfield with him. There's a handoff. Going to look to throw. He's going to fire one downfield. It's going to be incomplete at the 40-yard line. Going to bring up third and about ten. He just threw it a little short. It was a good route, and that's that's what he um, that's what he sells the most of. That's his high that's high it. volume is that, <laughs> that that route and that pass. Clock stopped at two twenty seven. The first seven to nothing. Wayne County lead. Third and almost ten for the Braves. They got to get down there to about the forty for a first down here on this third and almost ten. Looks like the Braves jumped a little bit. That's going to make it third and almost 15. Got a head start there, <laughs> boys. Hey, we're excited. Hunter Scar Scarver checks in, and, the, and uh, the Hulk, number 68, checking in for Wayne County. West and the court and McDonald checking out. Third down, about 15 to go for the Braves. <clears throat> Need a good stop here, guys. Man, yeah, it'd be sweet to get a stop here. All right, the Wayne County Band here tonight, whooping it up. All righty, here comes your snap. Back to throw. He got plenty of time, Kenny. Must be good coverage. They're going to get after him and flush him. He's still looking downfield. Fires one, going to be overshot down there. So that's an incomplete pass and a fourth down and about 15 yards to go for the Braves. I'm guessing they'll punt. Well, it looks like they might. If they don't, they're going to try to trick us. They got the old punter out there. Who knows? Boy, that Hulk's a big one, ain't he? He is. He's a load. <laughs> oh, wait. I tell you, he was putting he was putting the pushback on two guys on him. Had him double teamed. Hamilton's back there. Pat's going to let it hit the ground, catch it on the bounce, and try to break a tackle and gets out of bounds. Kenny, I can't see where he is. Pretty somewhere across the 15-yard line, I think. 2.06 to go in the first quarter. Wayne County up. Got seven a penalty nothing. flag here around the 35-yard line. Wayne County's offense is huddled over here on the side of the field. What do you think it is, Kenny? Well, I mean, it'd have to be a penalty against us based on where it was thrown. They're talking to... Uh, the entire South Jones Braves team. <laughs> well, that's, that nose tackle is giant. <laughs> he's low, ain't he? <laughs> Woo, he's bigger than all three of those officials put together. Look at that guy. Man. What well, doesn't look to like anything happened with the penalty, did it? It's out there. Running. Yeah, they're fixed. I don't know. You got the ball on the 15? Yeah. All righty. First and 10 for the War Eagles on the 15-yard line. War Eagles had a great opening position. And uh, looks like they've stopped the Braves twice now. See if they can capitalize on their offensive possessions twice. Well, another long field for Wayne County. Hamilton split, split wide left. Looks wide left. War Eagles moving right to left. Let me see if I can figure out who's having the discussion here. 
the official, the head official, is having a discussion with the back, uh, back judge. Trying to figure out what they're going to do? Looks like I don't know. They made some notes. They've well, been swapping reload recipes for. White Hat's moved back in the back and taking his place. Looks like they're getting him ready to go. He blows it, sets it, uh, sets it in play here. So here we go. OBJ's in the backfield. Going to hand it off to him up the middle, and he's going to find pretty tough sledding. Kenny, not much room right there. So that's a uh, zero gain. Steve Morgan checks back in. Try the speed issue a little bit here with Morgan. <clears throat> did we lose the yard? Yeah, I guess they said we did. It looks like we did. Okay, Oborn checks out. Bowles heads back to the huddle with his instructions from uh, Coach Hankins. <coughs> Be a good time for another big run. Yes, it would. I got a feeling we may throw this thing here. Estes is wide left. To pa Hamilton's over here to the left side, too. Back to throw. Going to fire one out there. It's going to be caught by Patrick. There he is. He's going to get out close to the 30. So, Hamilton's got himself got him a first down on the slant there. Yeah, just a, just a slant. <laughs> I mean, they were giving it the inside safety. was <laughs> He was back a quarter of a mile, and there was a huge gap in between the uh, the inside safety over here, the free safety, and the uh, the corner. We had a slot to this side, so slot back. Hamilton just uh, ran. <laughs> Man, that was beautiful. That was nice. That's uh, the Warriors are just short of the 30 with a first and 10. Inside a minute going in this first quarter. There's going to be a handoff to Morgan, Kenny, and he's running. He, can he try to get the corner? But he's going to get a couple of yards out of it. 31 seconds left in the first quarter. War goes up 7 to nothing with the ball in the second and about 7. It's only 32. <clears throat> I just believe the War are going to let this – <laughs> Excuse me, clock run on out here. Second down and seven. So that first quarter has come to a close. So let's take a 30-second break back to WABO, and then Kenny and I and the rest of the WC Web TV crew, which is Ken Roberts tonight. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, we're going to take a break, and we'll be back in 30 seconds. Get our little latch things to work there, but... Just don't fall out. Or just don't fall off the back of this thing, Kenny. Well, no taller than the bleachers are yonder way. I, I won't have far to fall. <laughs> All righty, one quarter down. But if anybody can drag it out, buddy, I can. <laughs> oh. Regular sacking any oysters in Sims, Alabama tonight. <laughs> I don't know. They very well may be. You know it's getting close to Thanksgiving or Christmas. Oh, yeah. Oyster time, baby. You know it. All right. Seafood. All right, here come the War Eagles with a second down and a seven-point lead as we start the second quarter. A first-round 5A playoffs down here in South Mississippi. Wayne County and the Braves of South Jones High School. OBJ's in the backfield. Bowles is under center. Oh, ball's on the ground, and the uh, Braves are going to get it inside the 20. What a tough break for the – Four. He goes, Kenny, that's a killer right there. Well, we, we were trying to run some kind of counter, and uh, Bebe, and I couldn't see exactly who was coming to him. Might have been Omar. Uh, the ball just got bungled. That was Denson, I believe. Was it Denson? Yeah. Yeah, it just got bungled and dropped. Well, let's see if the War Eagle defense can stand strong down here having – Giving them the ball at the red zone door down here with 11.53 to go in the half. And the Wayne County's 7-0 uh, lead seems to be in somewhat of a precarious position at the moment. We'll see what the defense does. Big old rangy running back back there, Kenny. Looks like he's uh, about 6-3, and he's going to get the ball and take off to the right side, and he can go. Turns up field, puts his head down, and has a real nice gain on first down. That's a pretty good running back, yeah, Kenny. He signaled uh, he had the first down. Hunley on the stop. But I think he's a little short. He is short. He looks like a second down to about three. Oh. 
ball somewhere around 13. All righty. Turnover. Puts the Braves in business. There's a big, long, lean running back again. Got a real nice run and push down there. Looks like he's close to the five. It's hard to say. Let's see from here. There goes the freshman nose tackle in there, Kenny. Number 66, Cameron McCann. Let's see what old Cameron can get done down there for us. It's first and goal, Kenny. Yeah, South Jones, this is the best team they've had in years and years and years, and you cannot give them anything. They're going to take advantage of it. Ball's on the six-yard line, just inside the six. All righty, let's see if the War Eagle defense can hold. Let's see if they can take advantage of the turnover that the War Eagles gave them, and it looks like they're going to tackle him at about the five, so it'll be second down and goal, maybe the four. Second down and goal for the Braves. It's either 10 or 11, 28 to go in the half. Got about two poles in a net between us and the clock. Looks like it's just inside the five, Kenny. Yeah, it's on the four. Okay. Second goal from the four for the Braves. Quarterback's back to throw. They're going to get him. He's going to throw one across the middle. It's going to be caught, Kenny. Is it, is it a touchdown? It is. The Braves are acting like it. I can't see it. But anyway, yeah. nice little touchdown pass for the Braves. So they get on the board with a, about 10.03 to go in the half. War Eagles hoped them out a little bit with that with the turnover, Kenny. Of course, they did what they're supposed to do. They took advantage of it. Well, they did, and they got a really good place kicker. Yeah, I was watching him in warm-ups. Lined up, ready for the attempt. The snap, the kick, it's up, and it's going to be good. So, with 10.03 to go in the half, it's a 7-7 ball game. Here's a 30-second break to WABO. We'll be back after this one commercial message. Uh, we go to Bert. You know the question we're going to ask about the right Reverend Cheryl and what a good team does. Answer a score with a score. All right. Let's see if we can get it done. we got to be real careful here because they are the masters of the squib. Oh, really? Well, I see we, we look like we're lined up for it. Our deep guys are standing at the 25. And the other nine are all from the 40 to the 50. So they're the masters of the squib, huh? They are. This kid can... He can make that thing do some wicked things. Put some English on it. Sure can. And probably a little dab of Spanish, too. <laughs> Morgan's back. And Hamilton are back standing at the 20-yard line. And she kicks it to one of them. We know what they can do. 7-7 seven seven ball game here. First round playoff action. 5A football. The Braves hosting the War Eagles. Here we go with the kick. And it's a squibber. And it's caught at the, about the 20. And that's Hamilton. He's going to try to go turn up field there and uh, get across the, uh, there's a fake. I thought it was a face, the face mask. He get across the 35. That'll add some more yardage to it. And there's Never did turn it loose. coming everywhere. Once he hung on, he, <laughs> he got fouled. Well, might as well ride it on down. Yes. Mm, yeah. Let's see what that's going to do for him, Kenny. Should put it at midfield. Talking it out. Man. They're stepping it off. Walking that hash mark. Right out there to where Kenny said. Midfield. First and 10 for Wayne County in a 7-7 football game. This is early in the second quarter here of the first round of 5A playoff action. The War Eagles and the Braves. Omar Borkins in the backfield. Denson's Yates back on the right side here. We got uh, probably Estes split out to the left over there. It's going to be the handoff to Boykin, and he's going to gain about three maybe on the first down carry. Omar's a little slow getting up. At, he's hurt a little bit. 
that shoulder's bothering him. He hurt it last week. Bay Bay Miller's checking in. Second and seven, 9.31 to go in the half and a seven to seven football game here. The War Eagles uh, turn the ball over down there in their own, probably inside their own territory, which resulted in the score for the Braves, but the War Eagles are back on the offense now. Bay Bay is in the backfield. Essence is out wide to the left. And they hand it straight ahead to Bay Bay, Kenny, and he's going to, he's going to, Get a yard, maybe two yards. Going to bring up third down and what, about four, three? Yeah, ball's on the 44. Okay. So he picked up three. All right, we need a four-yard run here. Let's take, let's get one. All right, it bowls back in. Got the instructions from coaches on the sideline. And uh, Warriors go to the line of scrimmage. It's just left, Hamilton right. Denson's H back on the right side. That's Morgan, I believe, in the backfield with Bowles. Back to throw, gonna try to get one out there to Estes, and Estes is, uh, could not hold on to it. It's gonna bring up fourth down. That was a good play defensively by the, uh, by the uh, corner over there. Warriors look like they're going to punt it away. Bowles on to try to punt it away. Here comes your snap. That's a good one. Bowles gets a nice kickoff. It's going to be uh, maybe take a good roll down there and get rolled around and. Uh, did they get in it? Did they stop it or did he roll in the end zone with it? Touchback. So that'll come out of the 20. I thought he might could have stopped it just short, but no, the Braves will have it first and 10 from their own 20. All righty. Now we're going to see if we've let the cat out of the bag here, the Brave out of the bag. Kenny, they scored a while ago. Let's see if they're well, going to want to do it again. We want to put the Brave <laughs> in the bag. Shake him up. Time, all right. So now, it, now it's time for a turnover. The other way, our way. Always be polite to your guests. Yeah, you Reciprocate. <laughs> All right, there's going to be a handoff to that long, lean, flashy running back, and he's getting some yardage, Kenny, and he's going to get, uh, see, got a flag down. Should be a hold on that edge over there. You got him, didn't you, Kenny? By stepping it off. All right, that's going to see where that's going to spot him. Be first down and uh, take it back, back to the 10. To the 10. 30 yard line is the yard line to make for a first. So the First down for the Braves. And they are lined up at the line of scrimmage, ready to go. Here comes your snap. There's a handoff, and uh, Warriors can get on him pretty quick, Kenny. He yeah, he made across, a couple of yards. Yeah, got across the 10 for a couple, but that's going to bring up second down. Give a shout out to some of our listeners tonight. I'm gonna shout out to old Rhett Williams and his wife Anna down there listening in tonight. We got folks listening from from the Gulf of Mexico to Iowa tonight, Kenny. So Highway, Highway, baby. So here we go. We'll give them a shout out to the Iowa bunch. Good luck, guys. All right, here we go. Here come the Braves. There's a the snap and uh, back to throw. Got a man out here that's going to be caught right after the catch. Going to be a nice game. Probably get seven or eight out of it. But still a long way to go. Going to bring up third down, and we'll see. Let's see where they put the ball. It's going to be about third and 14 or 15. Looks like 15. Third down, 11. Let's see. Ugh. Third and about 14, I think. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. That was a good reaction at that time to hold the uh, hold the receiver to just a few yards. It really was. They covered well. They closed. They closed well. Come out. Got two receivers both ways. Got it spread out pretty good, Kenny. On his third and long. Got some time, man. They do a good job of protecting him. They finally put him on his horse, and he's going to slide down, Kenny. So that's going to bring up a punting situation. Good pressure, good coverage, Kenny. Well, it was. That was a coverage sack is what that was. Quarterback just slid down. Hamilton is going to be standing back here around his own 45, awaiting this punt. Waiting on the snap. There's a the snap. It's a pretty good one. There's a the foot in it. It's not the best kick in the world, and it's got some backspin on it, and it's going to be down on the plus side. It's going to be inside uh, Brave Territory, somewhere out around the 48 or 49-yard line. War Eagles have a fresh set of downs with a 7-7 seven seven football game. War Eagles got on the board first, and then the, the long drive, they held the first possession of the Braves so three plays and then answered with a long scoring drive and then turned the ball over and the Braves were able to get it in the end zone and the Warriors are back in business in brave territory. And here comes Bowles and company. Bay Bay Miller's in the backfield. Morgan's in there. Denson's in there. Estes is wide to the left. Morgan's in motion. He's going to get the handoff. Turned up Phil Kenny and going to Hit the hole really hard and fast, but uh, going to stop him for about a two-yard gain. Bring up second and about eight. With yeah, good job by South Jones linebackers. Really uh, fill that hole. Steve had to try to bump his way for a couple of yards, and he's not very big no. to be bumping. He's, he's uh he gets out of his face, you better he'll be bumping. But now he's got he's got no fear. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Okay, suck it down in about eight for the War Eagles. We're inside the about five minutes to go in the half, seven seven football game. That defense is tightened up a little bit of the Braves. And the fumble snap and a blown dead ball. There's a penalty flag. Gonna call it on us, I think. But I South moved into the South moved first. They moved into the neutral zone, but yeah, it's against us. Okay. So outside the change, you're gonna big up second down and what 13. 450 to go in a half in a 7-7 football game here. First round playoff action. All righty. We're gonna get to see a little pitch and catch here. Barnett's left, Hamilton's left, and Estes left. Got three receivers out to the left side out there. Morgan's moving out there behind him. Bowles is going to take off with it. and I guess that was a design play. It looked like it was because he started running with it immediately to the right side and got hit at the line of scrimmage. He's going to bring up third down. No game. Maybe lost about half a yard. 4.23 to go in the half with a 7-7 ball game. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sure what he saw or what he thought he saw. But we were setting up for a little bubble screen. As Uncle Gene Barnett would say to the far hand side, but it never developed. Couldn't pull it off. We'll get them next time. Very similar formation this time. Maybe going to try it again. We'll see. Third and long. Got to have time to throw it. And there's a stoppage play. It looks like a timeout for the War Eagles. So we're going to take a 30 second break to WABO. We'll be back after this one commercial break. To the home of the Braves, Huddersfield, Mississippi. We got us a tied up football game here around one playoff action, seven to seven with 3.43 to go in the half. And the War Eagles looking at a third and about what, 14 yards to go. Trips left. Morgan's in the backfield with Bowles. Let's see what Coach Hankins dialed up for us right here and see if we can make it happen. Bowles is back to throw. Got pressure. Going to throw one down there to Morgan. He's going to make the catch, Kenny, and he's going to refuse to go down. He's got the first down dragging, folks. Breaking tackles down inside the 20-yard line. Steve that Morgan. boy. Man. That boy. Man, that was, a, that was after he caught that football, he made everything else on his own. <laughs> 
You talking about he's not big, but I tell you what, he's strong. I tell you what, if he weighs if we weighs 120 pounds, 60 pounds of it's hard. <laughs> yeah, he's got a heart as big as Texas. Sure big play right there for Wayne County. Puts big down play. Down to the 21-yard line. Yes, sir. That, that big play was dialed in from Clara, Mississippi, from one of our listeners down there, said we needed a big play. But we dialed that one right up. 32 That'd yards one, and a first down. They won James Rat Williams. Call that one. Got it done for you, Rat. All right, here come the War Eagles. First and 10. There goes handoff following Bay There's Bay. a hole. There it is. And that's uh, Denson's going to get down there close to the 10, close to another first down. Leaning on him a little bit now. Still going to be second. Didn't quite get the 10. Let's see what they give him. About nine. 2.58 to go in a half, 7-7 ball game. Wayne County threatening with a second and one. They get to the 10-yard line. They got a first and goal, I believe. That's how it works out. I'll defer to Kenny. Yeah, I think uh, the 11s. Are, oh, oh, they, they gave they, him the they first sure down. They sure did. Okay, first. I knew the 11 was the first down. Okay. So. It took them long enough to give it to them. It, <laughs> Pretty, it all is well that ends well. First down and 10 for the Warriors. They can get a first down inside the one. Man, that was a big hole they had opened over on this Man. side. Man, it was. There goes Denson following Bebe, and he knocked his helmet off. Yeah, snatched it off. Uh, it sna <laughs> That's a minimal gain, if any. Morgan checks back in. Denson and uh, the claim he lost to. Leverett check out. Two twenty-four in the in the half should be in field goal because position uh, range for Gonzalez. If that has to come to come into play, but we'll see right now. Bay Bay and Morgan in the backfield. That's just wide left. They're going to be the handoff to Morgan. Nope, nope. That's bootleg around the left side, and there goes Jacobson, and he's got the guy off his feet. Pretty nice little play there, Kenny. There's a flag over, over on the ground over here. I guess we're going to get a holding call. <laughs> you think? Yeah. All righty. And that is on the 14, 13, so it'll put the ball back out to the 23. Be a little more difficult field goal range from there. But anyway, the clock is stopped at 212, 7 7 ball game here at Ellisville, Mississippi. It's the home of the Braves of South Jones. Should be a second and 22 now. Which, for all intents and purposes, we might as well score because the first down is somewhere between the one and the two down there. So you're prescribing just to go ahead and score? Might as well. Okay, I'm, I'll buy that. Okay, guys. Saves a lot of heartache. <laughs> yeah. You know what you got to do. I'll tell you what, it's, it's Mike Chili out here tonight. Irish. Need to be in a hot tub somewhere. And it's damp. <laughs> All right, here we go. Bowles is looking. He got his field. man. Throw it. There he is. Touchdown, Tyrese Estes. Yes, sir, buddy. Good throw on the run by Bowles. Yes, Got to give him credit for that. Yes, sir. So we're at 140 to go in the half, and Wayne County goes up 13 to seven. And Ronnie Gonzalez will be on to try the PAT. That's a pretty big deal to get that close, get backed up like that and make that play. That's a big play for the Warriors. All right, Bowles to hold, Scarber to snap. Here comes the snap. Kick is up, and it looks like it's money in the bank right there, ladies and gentlemen. So with 140 to go in the half, 14 to 7, Wayne County lead. Here's 30 seconds to WAB. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I'm going to do this. Are you having trouble with any of your home appliances? Your refrigerator on the fritz? Your washer not washing? Your dryer's not drying? Bruce's Appliance Repair works on all brands at reasonable pricing. For all your appliance repair needs, call Bruce Cooley at 601-410-3777. And you'll be up and running in no time. Bruce's Appliance Repair. Give him a call and he'll get it done for you. All right, Kenny. You're doing a lot of fancy 
penmanship work over there. Well, I'm wore out after I wheeled us into the end zone. But I told you they wouldn't even need to mess around. You did. Just get you, touched you did. Out. I told you that. You did. You did. I listened. I agree 52 with you. 52-yard drive in six plays. Well, boy, this is a real big series right here, Kenny, because the War Eagles will get the ball to start the second half. So with 140 to go, you sure don't want to get some cheap, give up a cheap score right here. And you can start the second half with a lead and the ball. But we'll see. Gonzalez getting ready to kick it away. Here he comes. He's going to kick one high. It's going to be caught down around the 18-yard line, and the Warriors are getting after him down there. T.J. Evans is going to have misses him, and he gets outside, Kenny. Down the sideline and out of bounds he goes. So one th took 10 seconds off the clock. First and 10 for the Braves. That's a pretty decent return. You know, they've had a couple of those pretty decent returns the yeah, way we, they do it. They don't look like they're going anywhere, but the next thing you know, they're out at about the 35 or 40-yard line. Yeah. Yep. And uh, they're uh, we're going to have to be real careful here, boys, because they'll bust one on us. All righty. I'm going to dial up a pick six for Elijah down there. Come on, Cooley, get us one and take it to the house. All righty. Two receivers left, one right, single back set for the Braves. Here comes your snap and a quick throw out to the right side and uh, incomplete. Water boy caught that one. <laughs> Stops the clock at 126, second and 10 for the Braves. But there was a cheerleader wide open. <laughs> All righty. I see the machine, the dream, Paul King down there doing his work up and down those sidelines. Here comes your snap. There's a handoff up the middle. Keen, a big hole, and he's off to the races and across midfield to the 45 of Wayne County with 119 that stops the clock. They split that one wide open, dog. 15-yard gain and a first down. Got ourselves a pretty good football game, Kenny. Sure do. Be good to get a stop here. All righty. About to throw. He's firing deep. Launching one high. Got a man behind everybody. And they're going to call pass interference on that. All he had to do was turn around. But, I mean, you can't, I mean, well, can't blame him for that. I say you can't. <laughs> well, we had good coverage. Yeah, and we, like you say, all we need to do is just turn around. 101 to go. And it, it wasn't much in the way of contact. In fact, it hit the Wayne County player. So that'll put it on the Wayne County 35. One oh one to go in the half, and the Braves are knocking on the red zone door down here, 10 yards away from it. Fourteen to seven ball game. Must the, the, the Braves with a fresh set of downs at the 30. Be a good time for a sack, wouldn't it? It sure would. Sack, fumble, pick. There's a pass that's going to be caught at a slant. And Kenny, and I tell you what, they're working that pretty sharp. It's going to be down around the 12 or 13 yard line. It seems like the brave passing game is waking up here late in the second quarter. Second quarter. And kind of begin to see what the fuss is all about. All right, there you go. Back to throw again. They got to get some pressure on this guy. And, uh, it's incomplete in the end zone. Now, Cortez McDonald, I believe, was uh, getting a little pressure. Big number 84 coming up the middle there. Got a little pressure on him. Made him hurry a little bit. Incomplete pass. Pressure will do a lot of things for you. Well, he sure will. Well, on either the 12 or the 13. I think it's on the 13. 43 seconds left in the half. 14 to 7 Wayne County lead, but the Braves are knocking on the door. Here comes your snap. And uh, back to throw again. Got all the time in the world. Gonna fire one down there to a man that's wide open in the end zone down there. And that's did he drop it or to catch it? No, he caught it. Caught it, touchdown. Touchdown for the Braves. He's gonna make it a one-point ball game here. You gotta hand it to him, boy. They came back in a hurry, didn't they, Kenny? Yes, they did. And that quarterback showing he's Worth every penny they paid for it. <laughs> All righty. Crazy. 
see what the Braves are going to do with this point after touchdown attempt. See if they can tie it up. That's what they desire to do. 31 seconds to go in the half. Braves trying to tie it up here. There's the snap, and the kick is up, and it is looks mighty good, Kenny. So, all righty, tied up with 31 seconds to go in the half, 14 to 14. Here's a 30-second break to WABO. We'll be back after this one commercial message. Crazy K's and Bucket Tennis. 15, kick it to Steve, and let's see what he can do with it. <laughs> All righty. Braves getting ready to kick it off. I'm gonna move the ball over there to the right hash, it looks like. Pretty well, pretty hard, pretty well balanced first half, as evidenced by the score. Well, we gifted them out on the, on the turnover. That's true. You know, down here. That's that didn't true. have but 20 yards to go. It doesn't take them long to go 20 yards. All righty. Braves going to kick it away. We'll see what's up. He kicks that one deep, and it's going to go into the end zone. First down for Wayne County with 30 seconds to go in the half in a 14 to 14 ball game. Warriors will get the ball to start the second half. We do know that. Kenny, what you prescribe right here? Shoot, throw it down the field. You got 30 seconds, or I say down the field, throw it, pick up about 20 yards, call a timeout. We got two left. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't appear that's what we'll do. That big old rangy defensive back over on Estes. It looks like the guy's been running the ball. And there goes Morgan jumping over folks and running through people. He's still free, Kenny. He's at the 50. Man, he's burning, they son. They, they might catch him. You. I don't know. No. They missed it. No, the they five. him. <laughs> what a great play by Steve Morgan. That kid is hard to tackle. You hear me? Golly. What a run. Yeah, and he's inside the five, I think. Man. He is and hard. It took to nine get... seconds off the clock. <laughs> he's hard to get a handle on, buddy. I guarantee you that. Woo. All righty. We got a timeout. So let's take a 30 second break to WABO to hear from one of our sponsors, and we'll be right back after this one commercial. 83 yards. He got it down to the seven-yard line of the Fighting Braves, and it's first and goal. Didn't you have an 84-yarder last week? Uh, 87. Uh, that was uh, that was Omar. That was oh, that was Omar. Okay, yeah. That's we right. watched his fuel tank run out <laughs> about the 20-yard line. Okay, man, Wargles uh, got a first and goal down here with a couple of timeouts left too, maybe. All righty, and now it's Bay Bay time. And Bay Bay Miller time, baby, and he ain't quit yet. But they're going to stop his progress. We'll see. He'll make it to around the five, maybe the four. All right, 13 seconds. There's a timeout. Well, Kenny, this is tough because what you've got, it, you, it's a play you can't drag out. Yeah. It's on the five, so he picked up two yards. <clears throat> You certainly don't want to get let that clock get away from you and not get a chance to get some points out of this. <laughs> but uh, be critical, you know. You got to you, once you once you make that play, you're gonna. We got a timeout left, you say? We should have one left. Right. I'm thinking that we got uh, we used one I know of and this one. The Braves are back on the field, waiting for the Wargle offense to come out. Boy, this would be huge right here. You had to get a score and get the ball to start the second half? That would be big. Big, real big. We need a six-yard play here. One six-yard play is all we need. All righty. Bebe's back there with Bowles in the backfield. Denson's H back on the right side. Man in motion right there. They're going to. 
Bowles is going to keep it, Kenny. He's going to run straight ahead, and he gets into the end zone, according to the War Eagles. Touchdown, Wayne County on the quarterback keeper right up the middle. What a great turn of events for the War Eagles, and that's less than 10 seconds on the clock, and the War Eagles are up. Shouldn't be hardly anything left. Should be. It looks like eight seconds. It's either an eight or a 6.1 down there. It's got to be 6.1. Gonzalez is trotting out there to try the PAT. All righty, bowls the hole. Make it a seven-point ball game with this extra point right here. The kick is up, and it's going to be good. So, with about eight seconds to go in the half, it's a 21 to 14 Wayne County lead. 30-second break to WABO. ABO will be back after this one commercial message. All right, a 21 to 14 Wayne County lead right here as we're getting close to the halftime break. Need to squib this one, Ronnie. Yeah. That, guy can, that ain't Ronnie. No, it ain't. What are we waiting on? Why are we blowing whistles? That was Bowles kicking. Okay, he didn't wait for the guy in the white hat in the end zone, so they say. Oh, okay. Well, it'll cost him five. Huh? He shouldn't. Oh, they, okay. Just wasn't anything happening, was it? Wasn't ever set in play. Can't yeah, it was all dead. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I hadn't seen Jacob kick off this year, have you? Uh, no, but there's method in the madness here somehow. Somewhere. Jack's got something cooking down there. <laughs> I don't know. Ronnie may have got back in his lounge chair down there. And <laughs> All right, Bowles is going to approach the ball and going to kick one. It's going to be caught over here about the 40-yard line, and the Warriors are going to tackle him. Uh, that's going to take all the time down to 1.2 seconds. 1.2 seconds left in this half, 21 to 14 Wayne County lead. Need to get out of this one right here, Kenny, right now. <laughs> all righty. Let's see, they got the ball down there at the 34. No, the no, 40, 44. 44, okay. Missed it by 10. 1.2. I guess that's 1.2 or it's either 12. That's 1.2. All righty. Here come the Braves. That Morgan, that's, that's amazing. He is so hard to tackle because he's going so fast, I guess. To get hands on him, he just runs right through. I think he dips in uh, <laughs> Vaseline or something before he. <laughs> All right, the Braves are back to throw. They got some time. Clocks, there's a throw down the field. There's all kind of folks down there, and it's going to be intercepted. Wayne County's got it. He's going to run back, and uh, that's going to bring the first half. Let's see. Was there a penalty on that? It should have been. Well, so there is a flag on the play. That would give the Warriors another play, won't it? I don't know. I'm not sure. It depends on what the what the call is. Surely it ain't pass interference. Well, that guy's leaving. I don't know what I see. Coach ain't. He's <laughs> No, Warriors are going to the locker room. West Jones, the South Jones is still over there. I mean... I don't, know what, I don't know what they're having to decide on, but. Well, the, the Warriors are going to the locker room. Some of them are turning around and coming back. It may have been a face mask. That's what I thought it was. Let's see. Of course, if it is. I'll give it to Morgan again. <laughs> see what happens. All righty. Looks like. Uh, That's going to be it. All righty. Well, the first half has come to a close with the score of Wayne County 21, South Jones 14. We're going to take a break and we'll be back with the WC Web TV halftime show and our guest, Fire Chief for the City of Waynesboro, Buster Crocker, will return right after this commercial break.
And welcome back to first round playoff action over here in Ellisville, Mississippi, home of the Braves, the South Jones Braves, that is. Your War Eagles are over here with a 21 to 14 lead and getting ready to receive this opening kickoff of the second half. And you don't see them kickoff return teams lined up like that. Well, they spread them on out now. So they were ready. They were expecting the unexpected, were they not, Kenny? Yeah, and they still need to. <laughs> Yeah, we lost one of these earlier, and I tell you what, it's critical to hold on to this football and because uh, this bunch can throw it and light it up pretty quick. We need to nurture this seven-point lead. Hopefully can add to it on this first possession. That put us in a pretty good place, but there's that kick. It's rolling everywhere and picked up and about to 20, and that is Hamilton, and he's on the edge out here, and he's going to get out to the 42 or 3, and there's a flag coming down. There's a flag on the other side, too, so that's probably doesn't won't bode well for us, will it, Kenny? No, that'll, whatever it is, we'll <laughs> take it and go. <laughs> so they'll sort out the flag. They, Hamilton had made it out to <clears throat> across the 40, I believe, or across the 35 anyway. <clears throat> Let's see what the officials do with this one. 21 to 14, Wayne County lead. We beat that horse a little more. Never get tired of saying Wayne County's got a lead. <clears throat> Kenny, that's uh, that that nose tackle there is about as big as I've seen this year. Yeah, he gets his own bus when they hit the road. He's 400. I, I, he's got to be bumping four. He's around three uh, 360, I think. Okay. He moves Ball's on the 27. He moves pretty good, too. <clears throat> well, he does, and that's one reason they put him – where he is. <laughs> right in the middle. I mean, he can he can really jam. It, it'll take a fort lift and a cherry picker to move him. Here come the War Eagles. Bay Bay Miller's in the backfield. Estes is split out to the left. And let's see what the War Eagles can muster up on their first possession of the second half here. Back to throw. You're going to fire one. Got Estes. And he's going to overthrow, overthrow him. him down there around the 40-yard line. So that's going to bring up second and 10. Stop the clock. at will for him. So it's going to bring up second and ten for the War Eagles. As Estes makes his way back from way down in the pasture. Way down yonder on the Chattahoochee. It gets hot down, it gets hot down there. Let's see if War Eagles can well, heat, heat this thing up a little bit with a big play right here. Up to the line of scrimmage they come. One wide receiver in the game. That's Estes. He split wide to the right. And there's going to be a Oh, man, your big guy, they gobbled up. They gobbled up bowls for a big loss right there. They just rushed way more folks than we had blocking. <clears throat> it's going to bring up third down and a long way, way outside the chains. They maybe six, seven, eight yards outside the chains. Ball should be somewhere around the 21-yard line. Right on the money, Kenny. Well, there goes... Morgan checking in the game, so you never know what's going to happen when he's in there. Miller checks out. I imagine that bunch in the blue down there has been told to keep an eye on <laughs> number 15. Keep an eye on him, boys. We've seen him do some things. But anyway, here they Watch come. Watch him live. <laughs> That's right. To the line of scrimmage. Morgan's in the backfield with Bowles. Third and mighty long to go. Bowles going to fire one deep down the field. He's trying to get it to the big tight end. And he makes a great catch. He was being pushed and Good everything Lord, else. Have and that's Leverett, man, cross midfield. That was pass interference. <laughs> that was pass interference all day long, but it didn't matter because that big tight end of Wayne County's made the catch. Leverett on the reception. Man, what a great throw and catch. And, Kenny, they were mauling him, son. I mean, mauling him. Oh, man, him. I know. Big play. Big play. So the War Eagles are in brave territory to 41 with the first and 10. Bay Bay Miller's in the backfield. <clears throat> Morgan and Denson are your H-backs. Estes wide left. Morgan's in motion. He's going to get the ball, Kenny, and he's going to slip down. That <clears throat> he was going to cut back inside there. And that wet field got him a little bit there. Yeah, I'll tell you, the footing on that field is awful. You were down there on it during the pregame. Yeah, so. I was, and I was trying to keep from falling while I was walking. <laughs> <clears throat> Second and 11 to go for the Warriors. Bowles checks in with his instructions from Coach Jack Hankins and crew over here on the sideline. Carter's down there with them, helping them out down there tonight. He's been with them the last three weeks since he finished up 
East Mississippi Community College with their season this year. He's been back in town helping these War Eagles who he loves. There's the handoff to Bay Bay Miller, Kenny, and he's just breaking tackles and plowing, plowing down there and back inside the chains for the nice game. Oh, Bay Bay, that's uh, that's just like watching a giant musk ox bushes push his way through the bull rushes on the way to the water and hole. You know the thing about that, that big ox is in the tenth grade. <laughs> So he and Morgan are going to be back again. Oh, a lot of these kids will be back next year. All righty. Third down and what, about four? All righty. I guess they'll probably be in four down territory if they get anything here. I would, I would think so because you, you just keep the ball and keep the clock running. All righty. Here we go. There's Bebe Miller again, and he's going to push hard. Kenny going to get a first down for the war. Going to lean in on him down there. So They're going to spot him at the 30, but he made the 29. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. He's backing up to the 31. Yeah, but that's a bad spot. Yeah. First and 10. He fell across the 30-yard line. He did. I agree with you. First down, Wayne County, though, with him. 11.47 to go in the third, 21 to, not, 21 to 14, Wayne County lead. This is an opening possession of the second half. And uh, Wayne County scored first in the first half. They'd like to do that again right here. Take that lead to 14 if they can get it in the end zone. There's Bay Bay Miller, and they're going to hit him and stand him up for a might have got to the line of scrimmage. We'll see. Pretty limited uh, progress right there. Bay Bay and that big – Nose tackle. And as big and strong as Bay Bay is, that and over there on the other side of the scrimmage is way more bigger, as they say, Kenny. Second Man, I team. tell you what, that's like trying to move a granite block. And, I mean, he could. can move. Yes. He got good feet on him. They he have got, to be to hold, up, <laughs> hold the rest of him all, up. All righty, here comes your snap. Morgan's in motion. There's a little counter action, I believe, there, Kenny, to Denson coming around, and that's going to have – Zero yardage uh, attained there, I do believe. Going to bring up third down at about 10. Wayne County made a big third down conversion a while ago and need to do it again right now. There's Morgan. All righty. Hamilton comes out. Barnett. Barnett's in. Denson and Bebe check out. I believe we got something in the works. I think. <laughs> You think Hangers is plotting a little something down I believe there? He's, I believe he's over here using Draw. his abacus. <laughs> Let's see what he dials up here. Trips to the left. Back to throw. Going to throw one out there to Morgan. It went through his hands, and he does a smart thing as he got on it. Did, they give it? did he get it? Or no, did they get no, no, it? No, they no. got it. It's incomplete. incomplete. Okay. Thank goodness. Going to bring up fourth down. So you're kind of in no man's land here. Yeah. And what you can try to do is just pooch punch it. Pooch punch it. <laughs> pooch punch, punch it. Punch, punch. Kick the ball. I'm not going to say a word. Kick I'm the not, ball. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. All righty. Well, it looks like they're trying to get a kicking team, a punting team out there. Yeah, they were going to try to swing that thing out there to Morgan behind those three guys. Let those three guys clear out that left side and sit him down the sidelines like he did earlier, but it didn't transpire that way. So. Here we go. We got a stoppage of play. What we got, Kenny? We got a timeout. Timeout, Wayne County. So let's take a 30 second break to WABO and we'll be back after this one commercial break. 30 yard line. Wayne County's going for it. I mean, well, we don't know exactly, but I, I guess somebody got the etch a sketch working yeah. and got a play drawn up. Oh, well, they're making their way back out. The offensive unit's on the field, so they're going to go for it. <clears throat> Miller's checking in. Now, if you're south, do you call a timeout to counter our timeout? <laughs> we're going to find out right quick. All righty. <clears throat> Wayne County getting everybody out there they want. Whoever it goes out, moves back in. That's and just here we to go. throw them off. That's right. Got them set. Bowles is looking to throw. They're looking for Hamilton going down the sideline. Cuts back inside and makes the catch for a first down. Hamilton on the reception. So, another big third down conversion, Kenny. A fourth down. Fourth Was that fourth? That was fourth down. It was down. fourth down. Okay. All right. That's even bigger. Okay, just stay with me. I'll, 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 you'll be all right. Counting on you, son. The, uh, Don't leave me off in the water. Leave me there. 
All right. Made it to the 17. First down for the War Eagles. 11.56 to go in the third. War Eagles up 21 to 14, and they are in the red zone with the first and 10. Well, the, we, we have had some big conversions tonight. Though. We really have. We've been blessed in that respect for sure. All righty. Bowles is getting everybody lined up. Barnett's checking in. He's going to be in the backfield back there with Bebe. And the defender fell down, too. That, the, the, that was another reason he was so wide open. And there goes Bebe running hard through the middle. And they, he's plowing, Kenny. <laughs> he's going to get close to the five. And he's using a turning plow <laughs> with five plows on it. <laughs> Okay, okay. Ball's on the seven. It'll be a first and goal. Jamori Forrester checks in. Ninth grade running back, number 37. Kenny is a freshman running back in there right now, number 37. He's a big kid. He's, back, he's a lot taller than, taller than Bebe, but uh, he looks like he's going to be up there about 185 himself. Here comes your snap. And uh, there goes Bebe Miller, son, and he's not going to stop him, Kenny. Did he get in? Or he got mighty close. No, he got he got down to around the, the one, maybe. Or did they give him the score? I think they did. No, I don't. I, I still don't know. Yeah, they gave it to him. It's 27. I didn't on the see ball. anybody. Throw nobody, their hands nobody up. raised their hands, but the, the the folks from South Jones gave it to him. So Wayne County's on the board again. The stretch to lead to 27-14. Gonzalez is going to try to make it a 14-point lead here. Bowles to hold. Hunter Scarborough's out there to snap it for him. And here we go. Everybody's in their place getting ready for the snap. There it comes. Kick is up, and it looks like it's going to be good. So, with 11.23 to go in the third, Wayne County 28, South Jones 14. Here's a 30-second break. The WABO will be right back after this commercial break. 11.23 can't be right. The quarters are only 12. I, I, let's see. I believe we're back on the air. So, well, that's what you need, a 12-play drive that takes 79 yards. No, I'm and, sorry, and, 73 yards. And it's got us down to eight, we believe, 8-23 in the third quarter. So, just the angle where the numbers are, we just can't see from cannot here. Cannot see it. we got a couple of poles that split the numbers, and you, you can look at it one way, it looks like a three, another way it looks like an eight, another way it's just one of one. So who knows? But anyway, we know the score, 28-14 Wayne County. And Wayne County's getting ready to kick it off. And that's Bowles out to kick it off again, and there he goes. He's going to. Kick one up there, and it's going to be on the, on the ground. Wayne County's got the ball. Wayne County's Elijah Cooney recovers the onside kick. So the War Eagles are got a two-touchdown lead and the football on the plus side, and we got an injured Brave on the field. We're going to see if he can get up and make his way off, and he does. He's going to make his own way off. So that's a big one right there, Kenny. Well, it was, and uh, I tell you what, a lot of hustle there. Offense goes back on the field. Defense gets a, gets a little more rest. Yes, sir. And we just can, we need to continue to take time off that clock. Ball's at the 39-yard line of the Braves. Wayne County's got a fresh set of downs and a two-touchdown lead. And Bebe, Bebe ought to be on his second tank of fuel right now. <laughs> yeah. All righty. The Wayne County fans, there's a good crowd here tonight, Kenny, and uh, they are, they're having fun right now. The players look like they're fired up down there, so let's see if the Wayne County can keep the pedal on the gas. Now let's see what happens right here. They fumbled the ball, and Bowles was <laughs> able to get down on it. A little, they were faking one way and going another way there. and running every direction in the ball on the ground, but fortunately we got on it. We lost a couple of yards, but we got the ball, and the big freshman's checking back in again. I got a feeling we're going to see him rip one here in a minute. I got a feeling that Mr. Forrest, Jamori Forrest, a ninth grade running back, who looks like he's about 6'1 or so, <laughs> about 185. The big old kid. That's a ninth grader, dog. That's a a ninth grader and a sophomore in the backfield back there right now. Bowles under center. And there goes. Bebe's got the carry, Kenny, and he's plowing again. <laughs> he's going to get Boy, they have a time the getting him 25. down. <laughs> he never did go down. Oh. 
Third down and about six. That's a pretty nice gain right there. I believe I'd give it to him again. All righty. Man. All righty. Hankins has got him sending Bowles back out with his instructions on this play right here. See if Wayne can get him another first down. Up to the line of scrimmage. All righty, under center. Here comes your snap. There's your handoff to Bay Bay again, Kenny. And there he's doing what he does. He's plowing again. There you go. He's got that got first, first down. First down, down around the 25 yard line. Man, that black smoke boiling out of those pipes down there. That diesel kicking in, dog. I tell you what, that youngster, <laughs> when he gets rolling, he's rolling. <laughs> he is, yeah, with a capital R. <laughs> Ball's on the 26-yard line. First and 10 for Wayne County. We're uh, at nine. I can't tell what time it is. It's either a nine or five left in the quarter. But anyway, it's a 28-14 lead. Wayne County is uh, at the 26-yard line with a fresh set of downs. All righty, here they are at the line of scrimmage. Bebe again. Why not? There still he goes. Rolling. Still rolling. Still plowing. He's still going. Fight his way down to about the five, I didn't believe. Yeah, they're going <laughs> to mark him down at the six. They ought to give him the five just for effort. <laughs> and i tell you what, there's some South Jones Braves that are sick and tired of hanging on to him. <laughs> yeah, there's one slow getting up down there. Uh, well, it's like Bebe fell on him. Bebe fell on him. Well, got, I tell you what, uh, talk a little bit about Bruce's appliance repair here. We'll give old Bruce a shout out. If there's an appliance that you need fixing, call Bruce Cooley. That's what I do when I have problems, and old Bruce always comes through, always. I'll just tell you, I've told y'all this before. This is worth telling you again. I got an old refrigerator from the 70s. I mean, that's my primary refrigerator. I got all kind of old stuff, and he gets in there and fixes it all the time. He never fails. So if you got a problem with any of your appliances, call old Bruce Cooley, 601-410-3777, and he'll get you fixed up and going in no time. And here come the War Eagles with a first and goal. And Bebe again. And uh, I don't know, he might have got a yard out of that one or two maybe. Didn't look like he was There's getting There's so much. much of him, it's hard to tell <laughs> where the ball is. Cortez McDonald's checking it. Leverage checking out. Second and goal for the War Eagles, and it's hard to see where it is. Kenny, I, is it inside? The, it's in what the four, I guess. It's, yeah, he made right. it to the four. All righty. Two yards the hard way. It looks like a 350 and counting in the third. Boy, this thing is full. If that's a three, it's flown by. Yeah, it is. All righty. The Oregon's are in no hurry to get to the line of scrimmage. It's 18 seconds on the snap clock, and they're breaking the huddle. It's down to 14 now, and they're getting lined up, and they're going to line up about 10, and now we get ready to go. Here we go under center. Here comes your snap, and Bebe, and uh, they stopped him at the line of scrimmage, but I think he got another gun. Managed to get a yard out of it. Yeah, Jim. he got a yard. They hit him. I say stopped him. They hit him at the line of scrimmage, and Stopped his forward progress, but he did get a yard. So it's third down, and they're moving that yard marker a little closer. So is he at the three? Yeah, I think so. Maybe he is. He's at the three. So third down and goal from the three. 2.53 to go in the third. It's a 28 to 14 Wayne County lead. Wayne County threatening again. This is his left, Bebe Miller and Forrester in the backfield. We've yet to see Forrest carry the ball. You may see it here in a minute. Nope, it's going to be Miller again, and he's plowing, Kenny. He tries real hard, and the Warriors will say he got in, but let's see what the officials say. Touchdown, Wayne County, with 2.23 to go in the third. The lead goes to 34 to 14, and the Gonzalez will be out to try his PAT. There was so much of him across the goal line, they were trying to figure out what part of him the football was laying on. <laughs> Man. All righty, Gonzalez on to try the PAT. 
Bowles to hold. Scarborough to snap. Here comes your snap. Kick is up, and it's going to be money in the bank. All righty, 2.22 to go in the third, 35 to 14, Wayne County. Here's a 30-second break to WABO. We'll be back after this one commercial break. Mississippi High School football, the Mississippi High School Activities Association playoffs. And Wayne County's in the first round, traveled over here and uh, have got themselves a 35 to 14 lead with 2.22 to go in the third and Gonzalez getting ready to kick it off again. All righty, everything's set and ready to go. Looks like the official in the back in the, at the white hat down there at the goal line it says, Gonzalez is watching him. He says, okay, here we go. All right, Ronnie. Ronnie's going to put a foot in it, and it's going to come down and be caught at about the 17 or 18, and there go the Braves looking for somewhere to go, and they're heading across the field and going to be tackled at about the 25, 26-yard line. There's uh, West getting up down there, number 33. He was back in there, and... T.J. Evans, number 11, so the Brady was a little further downfield than I expected him to be. <laughs> <laughs> Stay back down here, big guy. <laughs> yeah, Ron says, Shot, I'll get up in there. I'll get up there and hit him upside the head. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> All righty, where are we at down here? We're at the 25. 26 yard line. 26 yard line. So the Braves put it in play at the 26, their own 26 yard line, trailing by 35 to 14 with 2.15 to go in the third. And the Wargle defense is on the field and see if they can get ready for this aerial onslaught. And here it comes. Going to fire one uh, incomplete. I'll tell you what, there should have been a penalty right there. Uh, Jaden Fist was working on that offensive line. <laughs> And that lineman didn't like it. He followed him and shoved him, but they didn't throw a flag. So, But anyway, Jaden has been playing lights out. If you check the tackles that he's been making every week the past three or four weeks, man, he has been getting it done. Well, he has. And the kid's got a – that's another kid that's on this team that's got a huge heart. Big old motor on him. Runs all the time. All righty. Second 10 for the Braves. And they back to the throw. They're going to throw one across the middle. It's going to be caught. And going to be close to a first down. I believe it is, Kenny. Fresh set of downs for the Braves. 158 and counting in the third. 35 to 14 lead by the War Eagles. Good Lord, where are they going to spot the football? Hey, well, they, must, <laughs> they looked like they were putting it on the wrong end of the chain, didn't it, Kenny? <laughs> I didn't think he got quite that far downfield. He got 11 yards. Two to the right, one to the left, single back set back there with the quarterback. They're going to hand the ball up the middle, Kenny, and they're going to be hit him right after he crossed the line of scrimmage to see how he Oh, well, he had about three yards out of it, so he's still short of the 40, I believe. No, let's see. Just short of the 40. 126 left and, and counting in the third in a 35 to 14 Wayne County lead. All right. To the line of scrimmage come the Braves. Trips right, single man out here to the left side. Back to throw. There's a rifle shot and incomplete pass. Boy, this offensive lineman for this number 52 for South is not happy. He's mad at every War Eagle defender out there. <laughs> He's had enough. He's sick of this. <laughs> Watch him, Ken. He's, yeah. he's pointing and slinging his hands around. He's mad, boy. Third down and about eight with 104 to go in the third and a 35 to 14 point. 35 to 14 Wayne County lead. All righty. Uh, back to throw. Looking downfield. Let's one go. It's going to be caught in the close to the first down. He's going to make his first down and go get out to midfield. Inside a minute to go in the fourth. All righty. 50 seconds in county in the third quarter, 35 to 14. Wayne County lead, and the Braves have the ball nosed up to 50 with a fresh set of downs. And here comes your snap. Back to throw again. Fires one out there. It's going to be caught. Just short Boy, of the first down. That was a great catch. That was a great catch. 
Good coverage. Wayne County had good coverage down there, and I believe that was Jeremiah Everett in coverage, and he was right there, but just a great throw and a great effort by the receiver. Kane is going to bring up second and one with 18 seconds to go in the third quarter. This is probably the last play of the third quarter if they get it off, and they do. And uh, hand the ball off, Kenny, and he's going to slip and get a first down. So that stops the clock with 2.5 seconds. I believe they spotted him short. No, it's first down. Yeah, he, he got to the point. Yeah, first down. So I guess that brings the third quarter to a close. So with three down and one to go, Wayne County 35. The South Jones Braves, 14. Here's a 30-second break to WABO. Kenny and I and uh, Ken will be back right after this commercial break. We'll be back. So, we are back, and the Braves have the ball on the plus side down here to War Eagle 40 with a first and 10 freshman defensive tackle checking in there. 12 minutes to go in a football game. Wayne County up 35 to 14. All righty. The Braves up here at the line of scrimmage getting ready to get lined up and see what they can do here in this final stanza of the opening round of the playoffs, 5A playoffs in the south. All right. There's a uh, back to throw. And they're getting after him this time, Kenny, and they're going to sack him. That's sack him. That's T.J. Evans. Number, no, no, excuse me. That's not T.J. That's Chad Wilson, number zero with the sack. They finally got him, Kenny. Yeah, finally got some, got some heat on him. That's a big sack, too. That's going to take him back yards. midfield, so that'd be second and 20. 35 to 14 contest. And the, oh, Chad, just, Wilson just laid his ears back, as they say, and took off and got a hold of it and would not turn loose. All right, it's second and 20 to go. 35 to 14, Wayne County lead. Back to throw. Back to throw. They got good coverage downfield, and he's buying a lot of time. We're going to throw one out here. It's going to be caught uh, short of the – well, it's going to be, be not, back in, yeah, not back inside the change yet. Stirred down about 11. Third and 11 for the Braves. 10.51 to go in the football game. 35 to 14, Wayne County lead. And you got to feel like it's four downs, no yeah, matter what happens. They don't have a choice but to go for it at this point on four downs. Trips left, single man on the right down here for him. Back to throw, pretty good block, and there's a pass that's going to be incomplete. Stops the clock with 10-28. Third, let's see, fourth down and 11. <clears throat> and like I said, Kenny, they don't have a choice. They got to go. No, this will be a big conversion for them. Oh, it will be if they make it. And it'll be a big stop for Wayne County. Big play. How about that? All righty. What would you say, Barney? <laughs> big. Big. That's the word. Big. 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 All righty, here we go. Fourth and 11, 10 28 to go in the ball game. 35 14, Wayne County lead, and the Braves are at the line of scrimmage. Two left, one right, back to throw. There's some pressure. They're getting after him. He's running. Got him on his horse. Going to run him out of bounds, and there's a flag on the play. That may be on that number 52. 52. <laughs> Let's see. There's a flag. What do you think, Kenny? I don't know. I wasn't looking. I was one of those rare times I'm not looking. It looks like it may be against Wayne County. I don't know. Let's see. I don't think so. Holding. It's against them. It's declined. Decline. And the Wargles take the ball over on downs with 10-16 to go in the contest and a 35-14 to 14 lead. <clears throat> and the ball is on the 37. Yes, sir. And the Wargles offense... I'm going to say, Bebe, Bebe Miller and company make their way back out to the middle of the, Boy, there's to some, the field. Some Braves that are going to sit straight up in their bed about 3 o'clock this morning. And <laughs> all they're going to see is a big 3-0. <laughs> 
All righty. And they fix you see it again. Bay Bay with a handoff. He gets on the edge, Kenny. Dodging, jumping over, folks. Here he goes. He's down the sideline. They're going to track him down and knock him out of bounds inside the 25. Tell you what, there was a lot of oxygen consumed <laughs> as he went along the sideline. You know it. <laughs> yeah. Kind of like those big intakes on those jet engines. Yeah. And nothing but fire and smoke coming out the back end. Bay Bay's not slow. No, he's not slow. He just looks slow. <laughs> it's so much, it takes too so much of him to go too far. He's moving a he lot faster than he looks. He stays in the camera. He, he stays in the frame a lot longer because it's so big. So that's on the 23 yes, sir. of the Braves. <clears throat> well, I got to hand it. Those Braves are doing that little Seminole war chant over there. They ain't giving that up even though the, they're down 35 to 14. And Wayne County's down here knocking on the red zone door with a first and 10 and a 35 to 14 lead. It's a 40-yard run. All righty, there's your freshman running back right there, and uh, he's going to get a nice game. That's a freshman. I'll tell you what, things look pretty good for Wayne County. We've been looking to struggle well, all year. Everybody gets healthy, and now we're looking pretty good, and these freshmen playing. It's, it's the best time. It doesn't matter what's happened up until now. That's right, playoffs. All right. He second, picked up what? Six. I'm going to say six, Kenny, second and four. All righty. Miller checks back in. Got him a shot of water. <laughs> he, he probably needs a whole tank of oxygen. <laughs> All righty. Ball square on 17. I think that's right, Kenny. I think you're right. You usually are. All righty. There goes the Bay Bay Miller again. And uh, they kind of hit him at the line of scrimmage there and stopped him. That wasn't much on that one. And they... That's a big, the big uh, defensive tackle had him. That was a pretty good standoff right there. Well, it was. Third down and about five. Eight minutes, I believe, and some odd seconds in the 35 to 14 Wayne County lead right now. I think they said no game. Third and five. <clears throat> Under eight minutes now. All righty, here we go to the line of scrimmage. Bowles back, two receivers to the right. And no, Bowles is moving to the right side. Can he's going to tug it and run it? Going to turn it up field. And uh, let's see, he's going to get a first down, Kenny. If he's not, he's close. I believe he's three or four yards past it. He's down there close to the five. Maybe the six or seven, we'll see. That'd be a first and goal right there, buddy. That's all the way on the far hand side. Yes, sir. <laughs> so they've got the ball spotted inside the 10. With a first and goal and a 35 to 14 lead. I believe that's on the, about the eight yard line. I think Wayne County's going to wind up scoring more, more points these last three games they have all year. <laughs> oh, yeah. well, you're not far <laughs> off there, buddy. <clears throat> all righty. Here come the Warriors to the line of scrimmage with a first and goal and a 35 to 14 lead. And there's Bay Bay. I don't know, Kenny. He may be in trouble. He got a good head of steam. Touchdown. Wayne County working on the Braves tonight. All right. That's three touchdowns for Bay Bay tonight. Man, a star is born. <laughs> and a couple of stars. More, more than one born. 41 to 14 right now, and Gonzalez on the try again for another PAT. All righty, here comes your snap. Kick is up, and Gonzalez one more time, and the score. 42 to 14. Here's a 30 second break to WABO. We'll be back after this one commercial break. And Gonzalez is off to kick it off, as far as Gump will say, again. Oh, Lordy. You can stop now. I think it's, I think it's 7 701 left 701. on the clock. 42 to 14. Wayne County lead. I'll tell you what, Wayne County has showed up. 
and showed out. Gonzalez is going to put a foot in one. It's going to be caught down around the 16 in there. They come up the field, runs over his own guy, and he's going to be tackled inside the 30. 6.55 to go in a 42-14 to 14 football game. Wayne County sitting pretty right now. Yeah, they've uh, rocking in the old catbird seat right now. <clears throat> Sometimes it's hard to get that catbird out of the seat so you can sit down. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's see, 8.55 to go. Been a good night so far for Wayne County, Kenny. 6.55. 6.55, hey, that makes it even closer. South Jones and the War Eagle is still getting after it. South Jones with the ball on a first and 10 inside their own 30. Back to throw. You got a drag man across the flat that's open. Yeah. It's going to be a first down for the Braves, 42 to 14. Is that is he's on the 42? Back to the line of scrimmage. Come the Braves with a fresh set of downs. Trips left. And he's back to throw. Pretty good pass protection, but they getting through to him a little bit. Gets one off and uh, good defense there. And Elijah Coot. Oh, he breaks a tackle, Kenny. That's a long range receiver. He's going to get across midfield and get a first down, I believe, for the Braves. Stops the clock. Gonna get to the Wayne County 47. Looking good. Yes, sir. All righty. Clock is running. I believe it's at 604 in counting. I can't see it. Yeah, that's gonna be right. All right. First and ten at the 47 of the War Eagles. Back to throw again. Got a lot of time, folks. One deep. Got a man down there, Kenny. Incomplete. They're gonna throw a flag on Wayne County, and I just, I just, I don't know about uh, that. Ah, no, 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 no. That's weak, buddy. That's weak. But anyway, that's weak. Be a fresh set of downs for the Braves, who trail Wayne County, 42 to 14. So that'll put the ball around the 32. Wayne County's got a. Some new folks coming on board out there. There's a 28. Victor Payton out there. He's been coming in and out of there tonight. Been seeing Victor. <clears throat> First and 10. Little Vic, as he's known, a.k.a. Little Vic. All righty. Inside six minutes in the 42 to 14 Wayne County lead. The throw. How about a hole Hold right here? Tackle it. That was a they uh, they held him and then laid they had tackled him and then lay down <laughs> lay down on him. But anyway. Second let's see what they're gonna be second ten. I'm not sure what you gotta do to get a takedown, but they had it. <laughs> they had it. Like a WWE event. Five eighteen to go in the football game, forty two to fourteen Wayne County. All righty. Up to the line of scrimmage are the Braves. I mean, they're not scared to throw it. And they're getting plenty of time. There's a handoff up the middle and uh, pretty nice. Oh, that was a pretty good lick, wasn't it, Kenny? Put a shoulder in him. <laughs> pretty nice game there. Clock still running. 447 and counting. 44 to 42 to 14 ball game. Lots of substitutions being made down there by the War Eagle. Mm -hmm. All righty. It's third and about three or four down there. For the Braves. Here comes your snap. and going to be another handoff. Nope, fake handoff. And you're going to fire one down there toward the end zone, and it's going to be incomplete. And it didn't throw a flag, can you? I'm surprised. <laughs> I am too. 
Shock. Shock and all. <laughs> Fourth down and three to go for the Braves. 4-13 to go in a football game. 42, Wayne County, 14 for the Braves. <laughs> Clock's stopped. Here come the Braves back to the line of scrimmage. Fourth down. They desperately need to convert. And they're back to throw. They're going to make a pass down there. It's going to be caught and uh, down inside the 10. Leaps over one and gets a touchdown. There's a flag on the play. What's that about? I think it's a uh, – I think that leaping, I don't think he can do that. You can't leap? <laughs> there was something going on there. Oh. This just wait just yeah. a minute. I don't know what that flag could have been, like you said, unless it's for leaping. <laughs> That'll be five yards for leaping. <laughs> leaping lizards. Clock's still running, Kenny. Let's see. Let's see. 21, 28, 35. That's four touchdowns. That's 20. I don't know, but the clock is it stopped at 345. What have they determined? It's first and goal. I thought he pointed against. He 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 did. That's coming back. It'd still be a first down. Yeah. And it'd be a first. It'd be a first. And I don't know. It's 15 yarder. <laughs> Stretch that chain out. <laughs> it puts right. you back to the 20, so it will be a first down. I'm not sure how to score that here on my scorecard. Well, they don't. Even, they haven't even moved the chains. They're still trying it, to it's, a, it's still a first down. Okay, guys, let's, let's get our head in the game. All righty, time out. So let's Unless they're saying it's first and goal. Oh, okay. Well, maybe. Let's take a 30-second break to WABO. We'll be back after this one commercial message. Everybody to the final 345 of this first round playoff game between the Braves of South Jones and our Wayne County High School War Eagles. The War Eagles are sitting pretty right now with 345 to go in this contest and a 42 to 14 lead. The Braves of South Jones have a first and 10 from their own 20 yard line. And we eventually will resume play. Oh, what in the world are they doing? Boy, that head official, he's taking his time, stretching his armbands, moving his watch around. Making his notes. Checking his pouch of uh, Bull Durham in his pocket. <laughs> Make sure the tag's hanging correctly. Only and set of bib overalls. After about three or four minutes, we're back playing football again. And there's a snap. And uh, the there's a hole. How about, oh, what, look, look at this. Intercepted. That'll do it. Intercepted. They can be holding and everything else. But now that is number 38 for Wayne County. On the interception return, that's Johnson, Cornelius Johnson. So, with 3.29 to go in the football game, Wayne County 42 to 14 with the ball. Man, was, I tell you what, I'm so happy for these kids, man, these I coaches. I am too, and they've been get, taking some abuse out there tonight with these holdings and tackles yeah. and stuff. They've been taking some abuse all year long. Well, they have. <laughs> you know, about people and all kind of stuff, but I tell you what, these kids never quit. Never quit. Ball never quit. Wayne County, 23. Well, uh -huh. if nobody else believes in you, you got to believe in yourself. That's right. That's all that matters. And they have proven their worth here tonight, buddy. Finish strong. There's going to be a handoff right there. Now, that's number four. And he, <laughs> bless his heart. He, uh, he was so excited. He was running out there, and that's uh, Reginald Keaton. He, and uh, he looked like he was out running his feet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think he kind of did. He got excited. Yeah, he was ready to go. He had a nice run. He got about eight or nine yards out of that one, and the clock's still running at 3.07. Ball's on the 30. Wholesale substitutions down here by the War Eagles. Second and two. Who we got playing quarterback, Kenny? Is that a uh, – I can't get the number. That's I think a, it's Mills. That's Mills. That's a, fresh, that's a freshman uh, – Let's see here. I can't. He's going to lose a couple there. It's going to be. Yeah, he did. Third, third and third. about five. Yeah, we'll go with that. 
235 and counting in the 42 to 14 ball game. Wayne County lead. That's Parker. No, Parker's eight. Not sure. That's 31. That's Hudson Mills, freshman quarterback. You sure? I believe it is. What the roster says, anyway. Well, 31. He's not out there. He's not, They've moved him out to receiver, and they got another guy playing quarterback, and he drops it, picks it up. Looks for somewhere to go, and there's nowhere to go. But we're inside two minutes with a 42 to 14 lead. It looks like we may do a punt one here. That'd be my suggestion on fourth and 10. 147 to go in the football game. <clears throat> and counting. <clears throat> Well, Braves had them a good run this year, Kenny. Well, they did. They ran out of gas when they met this bunch of War Eagles, though. Could not hang. I know they're disappointed, but just where there's disappointment, there's happiness. And we're mighty happy over here on the War Eagle side. Bowles is going to put a foot in one. It's going to be a pretty nice punt. And it's going to roll down inside the 40 to about the 39 of... The Braves, and we're 106 to go in a 42 to 14 football game. Tell you what, wet as that field is, that ball hit the ground and just it was like falling in a mud hole. <laughs> Great win, Kenny. Do we know what we're going to do next week? We'll play somebody. Would it? Uh, were we on the same side with Gaucher? In other words, Gaucher. If we want, if we will host next week, so if Gaucher is, they'll have to come see us, won't they? Uh, yeah, we should play at home. Yeah. <clears throat> All righty. Down to a minute and six seconds. 42 to 14, Wayne County lead, and the Braves have the ball. I'm going to tell you, this one's over with, folks. You can call this one, but we're going to play it on out. Back to throw. They're going to fire one out there. It's going to be caught, and his knee was down, so... <laughs> but the referee official <laughs> didn't call it down, but he caught it and went down to his knee. But Wayne County were there to tackle him. So inside a minute to go in this one. Yes, sir, Ree, buddy. Forty seconds. All righty. The substitute and everybody, a lot of folks getting to play tonight. Well, and, and they've earned their right. Yeah, well, we're gonna we got a flag back here, so we're gonna get one more penalty in, guys. <laughs> this must be the last one they're working, <laughs> which would be a first down. That's illegal substitution. We had, <laughs> we had 13 men on the field. <laughs> Thirty-one seconds. Forty-two to fourteen. Wayne County looking for a playoff win, and there go the Braves running hard, and uh, they're going to get another first down. The clock's inside. Stops at twenty-four seconds. First and ten for the Braves. Clock's running. Maybe the last play of the game right here. We'll see. There's a snap. There's a handoff. It looks like they're th it. throwing in the towel, ladies and gentlemen. And looky, looky, looky here. Wayne County, 42. South Jones, 14. Remember that you can, and the Wayne County's advanced to play again next week, probably at home in the playoffs. The War Eagles are rolling. Remember that you can follow the War Eagles all the way up on Facebook at War Eagle Football and also on our YouTube channel, Wayne County High School War Eagle Football, where you can watch for games from start to finish on demand. Special thanks to the WC Web TV crew tonight, Ken Roberts. And uh, he's it tonight, so we appreciate you, Ken, and all that you do. Uh, we want to thank Tony Reynolds back to the station. 
seeing as all this comes together for us and you, that does it for tonight. We're about to head back to Tony and Weibo. Kenny and I, along with the rest of the WC Week, WC Web TV crew, will be with you next week in the playoffs at home for more Wayne County High School Warrior football. Take us out of here, Tony. Wayne County High.